last night, behind the heart's veil, I saw my beloved's face. I lost control. All patience and composure left my heart. My fate became entangled, like the tips of his black curls. My state grew dark and gloomy, like the mole upon his cheek. I said, my love, your wild Narcissus eye has ruined me. He said, no one in town will be left sober, thanks to me. I said, this soul is a death's door from loneliness for you. He said, on every side I've slain a thousand such as you. I said, once I had refuge in the sanctuary where we met. He said, but who has access to the sanctuary of the king? I asked, how much longer must I lament your cruel ways? As long as true love's brand remains upon your face, said he. Life of the world, I said, since you intend to burn me down, kill me quickly. Do not make me suffer this pain anymore. He went back behind the veil and told me very angrily, No more such talk, you babbler. Leave the whole affair to me. Shall I kill you cruelly or restore your life? Only I know. On love's path, what business have you with me or with your own self? From me, you shall gain nothing but confusion and distress. Drink blood, uproot your soul, remove your heart from this existence. Since Attar first heard news of conversations of this kind, with pain and grief his anguish has become yet more intense. With sallow cheeks and cold breath, his head full of melancholia at the end of love's pain street, waiting for just one glimpse of him.